John Fremont and Stephen Kearney were sent to California and New Mexico to control the to control and convert. The four prong attack went into the Mexican heartland. Fremont sent a group called Zelos. They were Californian. They were declared independents. People thought the Bear Flag Republic was a joke, so they didn't do anything. Fremont proved them wrong and marched the groups and captured the Mexican Presidio. As then the California was secure. While Fremont was doing that, Kearney led his troops into Santa Fe. The that made the government of New Mexico leave, leaving the city helpless. After they met up and joined with Fremont and his group. Zachary Taylor crossed the Rio Grande with his troops under Polk's order. When they crossed, they set foot and fought Santa Ana, leaving in victory to go to the heart of Mexico. The second commander, Winfield Scott, and his troops invaded Mexico, of course taking victory. After, after that was all and over, with they decided to march towards Mexico City to the capital. While they were at the war, the people's worries started to rise about Polk's methods and the way he ran things. They were worried something would happen and slavery would expand throughout the newly acquired lands. The anti-war started to emerge in New England, so Henry Davis, a.k.a. the writer, decided not to pay taxes since he knew they were, went to war fronts. He was then sent off to prison, but he wrote something called Civil De Disobedience. It was then became a standard standard of peace and set over the nation.